Okay, just to show you just a quick zero check. So it's a bit wobbly because I'm leaning on a fence post. But you can see I've just taken a couple there. Uh, this is because I've changed to my FX hybrids 0.22. Let's give it a shot. That high. Zeroed it, had to bring it right down to 25 yards where that is. These are shooting at 900 feet per second. There you go. Bang on. Now, I'm not going to uh, do any more because these FX hybrids cost the earth and so once I'm happy I'm zoomed in um, I'm going to leave it at that First one of the day. take a closer look at that shot and it's instant lights out for that one this is the next one makes his way on top of the feeder here zoom in, hoping he's going to present me with a nice shot. And he does oblige. So again, instant lights out for that one. And uh, I normally have a scan around, a quick peep up the tree through the scope to check everything's clear. And oh, hello. Next one's already lined up.
so this one he has a really good look around and he's thinking well what is my mate doing on the floor asleep at this time of the morning when there's free food up there so uh, he has to go waking his mate up Oi. Well, he's fast asleep and he sees his other mate over the over the way so he pops over there and uh, has a word with his mate So he said, what are you all doing sleeping at this time of morning? It's free food up there. So uh, they show him exactly why they're doing that. And he joins them. So let's have a, a quick closer look at those two shots. Now this chap uh, gives me a bit of the run around, as you'll see as we follow the footage. He tends to go up and down the tree a bit and round and round, uh, but eventually, inevitably, we do catch up with him. zoomed in here thinking I was going to possibly get a shot but he disappeared and again decided to, to keep moving around. Have a quick scan around to see if there's anything else that's uh, making him fidgety but inevitably I think it's just purely that the, uh, the few dead uh, fellows of his on the floor quite obviously making him, him very nervous.
So uh, he makes his way down to the base of the tree to check out his mates. Pretty much like um, all the squirrels today did. They're definitely curious about what's going on here. And uh, he has a good sniff of his mates. zoom in, hoping I'm going to get a shot, but he, uh, he turns around and continues to, to fidget about. That log you see there with his foot on at the base of the tree, that's what I use for zero in. So my patient wears a bit thin with him now. That was just a little bit still for a little bit too long. And all these screws today were instant lights out with very little of the old screw breakdowns, you see. He had a bit of it over there. Look at that last shot there. So there's my setup again today. Just that simple pop up hide and my usual squirrel gun, some uh, trigger sticks, just keep everything steady. That's an FX Crown Mark II Compact 0.22 and today I was shooting FX Hybrids which um, I don't know if you'll pick it up because the camera inside the hide probably won't pick up much noise but they don't have hit with a thump they definitely do work so there's the hide, and here's the very small woods that I'm shooting in. Let's go and have a look at what we've got today. You can see the feeder, it's about 25 yards again from the hide. And there we are today. 
just four of them. So that's a good four gone. There's the feeder and you can see that I've put a, another piece on the front where they've chewed a big hole trying to get in there. Refilled it today. More damage that they've chewed up there. But that's a simple uh, fix that I've put on there and I can replace that easy when they chew through it again. And I'm hoping to get a metal plate from my brother made up which should make it a lot more secure. So there we go. Nice little morning on the squirrels, beautiful morning, all the way over there, and um, yeah, those FX hybrids, they hit very well, as, I, as hopefully you will see. Cheers, Em. Um.